Alleluia, Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Pray. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person. But the things that come out from within are what defile. When he got home, when he... When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach and passes out, and passes out into the latrine? Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As, as I mentioned yesterday, we, we, we continue no, from yesterday's reflections of the Lord's critique of the religious authorities. No? And here again, um, very, very clear now. It, it's a very clear example. No? Uh, we might say this is part of the core of the issue. No? Number one, the Lord says no, that it is really the action that defiles us. No? So that's the first point that we will reflect on. And I think the other thing that I want to also emphasize is the freedom of choice. No, I think that's 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 very much uh, you might say important, a very important element. No, in what the Lord is saying today, the freedom of choice. No? And then third, I'd like to go back now. This is the last. This is uh, the, the two days that we will reflect on the Lord's critique, and then we'll be looking at healing stories from tomorrow, I think, until Saturday. No, and uh, anyway. What Pope Francis said, no, to see, to choose, to act, no, as as our synthesis, no. First, the the action is what defiles, no. Here, the Lord clearly says that it's not it's it's not what what comes into us, but it is how we're going to respond to that stimulus, if you wish. Now, of course, the the example that the Lord gave here is food, no. But let's look, take a look at temptation, no, temptation. Um, we need to remember that even the Lord Himself was tempted. So these are all the external factors, no? And yet the Lord chose freely not to give in to temptation, no? So I think this is where you you realize that action defiles because only I think only because there is a process that we go through in taking action. For example, I always tell people when they say, "I got angry. I got angry at my 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 friend or my." my office mate because he did this, etc., etc. Again, there's reason to get angry, no? But the important thing is one does not act on that feeling, no? It's normal, it's very human to, to react when there is a stimulus that is, in a sense, un understandably, no? That is the reaction that you have, to get angry because someone did something very wrong, no? I remember the, the cleansing of the temple. We said that is a, the sense of righteous indignation, no? And even that, no, the Lord was able to act also, no. At the same time, uh, talking about that, no, the action must not be, must not be more than more than the, the stimulus, no. So again, just to reflect on this, no, it is the action that defiles, no. But we must distinguish between what we what we feel interiorly and the action that we take because of that, no. And and for me, that is very very important. That's a very important thing to reflect on and really in a sense it is a virtue no that one is able to reflect and to process and to be able to act properly and we'll get to that in the third and last point no and then the second point is that part of the process is the freedom to choose no and that what comes into us the, the stimulus no or the stimuli if you wish no we have the freedom to choose how we're going to respond to that no we have the freedom to to decide the response and the the, the 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 response is all always has a corresponding action, whether to 
keep quiet, whether to not do anything, and that is a choice. It's not a sign of, of um, indifference, or to act. No, if someone, for example, did something wrong, it is to act in a way that would condemn the the wrong thing, or to keep quiet. No, it's a choice. Remember, it is a freedom to choose. No, and even if we keep quiet, that could be a wrong choice. No, and because. There are times that we need to speak out, no? If we decide not to speak out and we hide the truth, that's still an action that causes us to, to in quotation marks, to sin, no? Then also when we, when we, when we uh, decide not to do anything, no? When in the face of suffering, no? Remember that, remember that, that famous saying that the hottest places in hell are reserved for those who in times of moral crisis decide to remain neutral, no? And again, that, that emphasizes the importance of choice, no? As I said, all choices lead to action, no? So that, that second point, and yet there is that freedom of choice, no? And then the third and last point is that what the Pope said, no? What, the, what Pope Francis prescribed, no? In, the, in his book, Let Us Dare to Dream, The Path to a Better Future, Post-Pandemic Path to a Better Future, no? He said, for us to be able to build, no? overcome coming out of the crisis and we must come out better remember he said that that uh, our our crisis is normal in life but he said but how we will come out of the crisis is our choice and the pope said we never come out the same it's either we come out better or worse but the choice is ours we never come out the same and he said to, to make that choice remember that but he but he prescribed he said one must see clearly, one must understand, one must gather all the facts, especially facts, no? and ga gather all the context, the reality, but the facts, no? so that one may choose well and act right. So that process of making a choice. No? And remember, it is a choice that will always define us through our action, whether we come out better or we come out worse. Siguro magandang pagnilaya natin to balikan natin to ito na yung huling pagninilay natin dito sa sa puna no at pag uh, ng kritisismo ng Panginoon sa mga mga otoridad noon ni religious authorities no so sabi nga niya dito di ba yung ating pagkilos yung gawa natin ang siyang nagbi, nag, nagbibigay ng kasalanan sa atin hindi yung kung ano yung pumapasok sa atin no malinaw na malinaw sinabi ng Panginoon no na yung ating pagkilos ang siyang magiging batayan ano kung tayo ay nagkamali o nagkasala no pero tandaan natin itong itong pagkilos natin no ng ang ating aksyon ay dinadaanan ng isang proseso no kasi hindi mahalaga dito makita na hindi nga yung pumapasok kasi pag may nangyari halimbawa merong merong isang ginawang masama ang isang tao sa atin Natural na maramdaman natin ang galit o sama ng loob or galit. No? Kagaya ng Panginoon, nung tandaan nyo nung kanyang nilinis yung templo, nung, nung pinalabas niya, ano, pin, tinapon niya yung mga gamit ng mga nagbebenta sa templo. Yun yung tiyatawag natin. Na, yun, yun, yung, yun yung sabi nga natin, yung sense of righteous indignation. Ano? Yung merong talagang galit na nanggagaling sa isang tuwid na dahilan. Ano? Yun yung mahalaga no? na makita natin. No? Pero yun na nga, nasa ating pagpili kung paano tayo tutugon, no? Kung ano yung ibubunga ng aksyon, no? At ito yung pangalawang punto, no? Binigyan tayo ng kalayaan ng Diyos upang pumili. Hindi dahil merong, merong nangyari sa labas, merong nagbuyo sa atin, merong nag, nag, uh, nag, te, nag ano sa atin, tinukso tayo. Uh, may, ka, may kalayaan tayo no? na umuo o hindi. Yung unang mahalaga, yung kalayaan pumili, no? At tandaan natin, lahat ng pagpili ay nahahantong sa pagkilos. Kahit tumahimik tayo, pinili natin yon Yung pagtatahi, pagtahimik natin ay aksyon yun. Ano? Kung dapat sana meron tayong sinabi, nanindigan tayo pero wala tayong ginawa, pinili natin o wala tayong ginawa. Yung pa rin yung maghuhusga sa atin kung tama o mali yung ating pinili. At yung pangatlo, tuling punto ay ang sinabi ng Santo Papa no? noong unang taon ng pandemya. Sabi niya, ang krisis... Hindi tayo, kailanman, hindi tayo lalabas ng isang krisis na pareho. Tayo ay lalabas na maging mas mabuti o mas maging masama. Pero sabi niya, mahalaga yung proseso kasi tayo ang pipili. Sabi niya, kailangan makita natin ng malinaw 
lahat ng datos, lahat ng mga bagay na dapat isaalang-alang at pagnilayan at pagdasalan upang tayo ay makapili ng, ng mabuti. At sabi nga niya, at sa ating pagpili ng mabuti, dito magbubunga ang tamang pagkilos. To see clearly, to choose well, and to act right. We pray that that may be a process, no? a discernment process on how we are to act, how we are to respond to the, to the, to the many things that are going on in our life and in our community and our society.